Ever wondered about the mysterious language of Q codes on ham radio? A labyrinth of codes that form the backbone of communication among amateur radio operators worldwide. Today, delve into the world of Q codes and unravel the secret behind these fascinating three-letter codes. Q codes, a system of message shorthand, originated in the early 20th century with a purpose to facilitate communication in radio telegraphy. Initially designed for commercial radio telegraph communication, Q codes quickly found a home in amateur radio, where they continue to serve as a universal language, transcending barriers of different mother tongues. Let's kick off with QRM. Now this isn't a request to make a reservation at your favorite restaurant. In the world of ham radio, QRM is a question, are you being interfered with? If you hear this, it's a signal that the operator on the other end is experiencing interference and needs to adjust their equipment. Next, there's QRN. If you're not into ham radio, you might think it's a trendy new acronym. But in this universe, QRN is a question. Are you troubled by static? It's a way for operators to communicate about potential static interference that might be affecting the quality of their transmissions. Then, we have QUSO. No, it's not a new superhero squad. In amateur radio parlance, QSO denotes a conversation or a contact between two operators. If you hear QSO, someone's about to start a conversation or they're referring to a previous one. Also, there's the all-important QSL. It's not a quick way of saying quasi-static. In the ham radio world, QSL is either a question, can you acknowledge receipt, or a statement, I am acknowledging receipt. It's a critical code for confirming that a message has been received. Finally, let's touch on QTH. If you're guessing it's a new tech startup, guess again. QTH is a question, what is your location? Or a statement, my location is... It's the ham radio way of asking for or giving a location. So, what's the essence of all this? Q codes serve as a universal language among ham radio operators. They're a set of three-letter codes, each carrying a specific meaning, used to facilitate communication, particularly in Morse code transmissions, but also in voice transmissions. Today, we've decoded QRM, which deals with interference, QRN, a code about static troubles, QSO, the term for a conversation between operators, QSL, a code for acknowledging receipt of a message, and QTH, a code for location. Remember, these codes aren't just a series of letters, they're the keys to efficient and effective communication in the world of ham radio. They're the secret language that binds the global community of amateur radio operators together. And now, you're a part of that too. So next time you're tuning your ham radio, remember these Q codes. They might just be the secret handshake you need to join the conversation.